Sunset Community, Vice Nation. I appreciate y'all being here today. Uh, this is episode two of That Show, Fireside Edition. This is what we like to call the Saucy Challenge. Again, congratulations to Crystal, AKA Saucy, for being our player of the week. Um, let's shout out to Old Hags Pizza, 1315 West Davis Street. Um, make sure y'all go and check them out. Um, here in front of us, we have a lovely eight piece set of Carolina Reaper. Wings. Reaper. Reaper. Carolina Reaper. Again, Reaper Wings. So, um, of course, before we go, let's get started. As you can see, we are making sure that we are keeping our social distance six feet apart because safety is always first yes. here on the Dash Show Fireside Edition. Um, Speaking of safety, All right, all right, all right. All right, so the way this is going to work is that we're going to get asked a series of questions by our host here, Senior Alani. Yeah. Um, and basically, while we're trying to answer these questions, we're going to be trying to breathe while eating in, in these, these wings. Um, you're, uh, you ready? Let's do it. All right, so what are we going with first? We're going with drumstick or are we going with uh, wing? Let's go drumstick. Uh, right, drumstick? Yeah, drumsticks aren't as hot. That's all right, all right, all right. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Since we live in the United States, your first question is, when was the year that the U.S. won their independence? Mm. 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 I actually don't know. Mm. All right. 1776. Yeah, we know our history. We know our history. Shout out to um, Matt Wilson. Coaching me up. As country singers are all oh, diverse, hell. <laughs> mentioned two Texan country singers. Mm, I only know one. Five. Five. About to phone a friend. Four, three. Yeah, do we get a life two, one? One. And. Alright. I got Garth Brooks and Trace Adams. I got Miranda Lambert. I know that one for sure. And then I put Luke Bryan. They from Texas? <laughs> no. Only Miranda is. What about over here? What, what mine? Garth Brooks, Trace Atkins? Where are they from? <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. As y'all are both coaches, 14 age girls and guys, and they're into social media because oh, social media is like a big thing nowadays. Mm -hmm. Name oh. one famous TikToker. Or YouTuber. That is one of them. Oh, yeah, I got that. I got that. Your answers? Logan Paul, yes. And the Ace Family, yes, they are both YouTubers. Which I'm I told you two answers. Okay. Hey, like Crossman says, we know our kids. The next whoa, question. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Let's think for a second. Dodie, you ready to get a drink, man? No, no, no. Since we are all members of the Sunset community, what year was Sunset built? What the deuce? Let's go. Let's go. If you're a true bison. Come on. I just got here. You will know. I will adopt a bison. <laughs> I'm a stuck bison. I got this one. Hold on. Let me Hold on. Can I phone a friend? What was um, this? Can I phone a friend? No. So, so, so. so slavery was free in 1865. So. <laughs> I'm going to say 1880. <laughs> is that right? No. no. 1925. Yes, 1925. Let's go, Sunset. Bison Nation. Sunset. Mention two Mexican artists, whether it may be TV, shows, movies, oh, yeah. or music. Selena, Selena, J-Lo, J-Lo. Come, come on, man. Is that got the <laughs> same ones? <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Put reverse, Terry. <sighs> So I was thinking gospel hymns in the same. Mm. As y'all are both teachers and coaches at Sunset High School. Oh, it's getting sloppy over here. Name five Sunset teachers whose last name starts with the letter S. I can't name five Sunset teachers. I got Smith, Sala, Spindler, and Selfie. We got Sosa, Santana, Smith, uh, 
Susie, Salado, and Santiago. <laughs> All right, two more. Thank okay. you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring when you are done. Let's go. I'm ready when you are done. Go ahead. I'm ready when you are done. Oh, God. As coaches, what do I expect from y'all's players? Oh, so know your worth. Yeah. Value yourself. All right, because you're about. Value yourself. <laughs> Here, so they might come around. Not treating you to that level. Don't settle for that. If you settle for that, you're going to be settling the rest of your life. I'm settling right now on these wings. But don't settle. Know your worth. Know your worth. That's going to take you far in life. Only thing I ask from my athletes is that you play hard, do your best, and take care of what you got to take care of in the classroom. Remember, student athlete. Student first, athlete second. Yeah, that's okay. what I got. Don't let us do this again. So, as us students, like you said, student athletes, we have a lot to carry on. We never want to disappoint our coaches, uh, our teammates, and our school because we have representation. When we wear the jerseys, when we wear any sunset gear, yep. it's held at a standard. Exactly. Okay? So, so I got one more wing. Thumbs all the it's saucy, truly is saucy. Come on. <sighs> Since y'all been here, what is some really great memories that you've made, not only with teachers, your athletes, but just here at the Sunset Nation? First off, me getting robbed from choking out Wiggins. And this is a shout out to Coach OJ. Because he allows us to be creative allow us to do things outside the box. So being able to host a tournament, a varsity tournament here, um, that's something I always wanted to do. And then the fact that we actually won it, and then we won it in a dramatic fashion, you know, 10-9, coming back from five runs down, um, Lucy getting the game winning hit, scoring Aaron. Even with our season being cut down from COVID being short, um, that's something that's going to take with me um, probably for the rest of my life. I've seen the progress in both students and athletes. is awesome. Been here five years, so I've got to see kids graduate, uh, move on, get jobs, uh, get careers, uh, and do stuff that they are successful in. So being able to see that. Third bad. <laughs> uh, but for being able to see that, our uh, basketball team, First got here, zero wins in the season. Uh, to last year, getting 11 wins. Uh, this year, we're breaking that. We're at nine right now. We're definitely going to beat 11 wins. Uh, so seeing that progress, uh, that confidence build, and seeing that in the students. Uh, and then football. Football beat Adamson. That's it. I ain't going to say nothing else about football. Football beat Adamson this year. Shout out to football. Sunset Nation. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Fireside Edition, uh, That Nation. It was fire. It, it was, was fire. Lip still. Um, as always, again, my name is T Mac. <laughs> we got Doty, A Rob behind the camera. Yep. Shout out to the audience, live audience today. Shout out to them. <laughs>